You don't marry someone you can live with. You marry the person who you cannot live without. So Seven Sisters are in the um, heart of the Winelands, in the um, Valmut Valley of Stellenbosch. We have a small um, farm um, that we occupied um, since 2009. In fact, it was a barren piece of land that we as a family um, developed into a fully fledged wine farm. Um, I think we have a bit of a problem because we are in a, um, a dip, a sort of a, 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 a low. And um, you know, when it rains, like this time of the year, we, we get the occasional rains and then the heat, the danger is running into mildew. We do have a, a few um, olive trees and, and fruit trees. But because it's all young, we started our uh, uh, um, wine grape plantings in 2013 with a, a Shiraz and in 2014 with Chardonnay, which is bordering the Easter River. Um, we have since then, in 20 or three, three years ago, we um, re regrafted the Pinotage grape into the Shiraz grape because we always wanted to have a Pinotage um, grape a varietal on the farm because it, it is indigenous to South Africa, but the uh, underground structure was not good enough um, for the Pinotage plant right from the beginning. So we started with a stronger varietal like the Shiraz and then um, regrafted into the Pinotage. Grafting means that you you keep the, um, the, uh, the base plant, the Shiraz that was already um, established, and then you, you graft into that Shiraz um, within a certain manner into the, the Pinotage you grafted into the Shiraz and you bind it up until it, the stick takes off and obviously um, watch it and nurture it to the point where it is healthy and can continue on its own. Seven Sisters Wines is uh, uh, originated from um, our seven, seven biological sisters. Our maiden name is Brutus. Um, we come from a very small fishing village called Paternoster. And um, the thinking behind the Seven Sisters was that my mom and dad has passed on and when this opportunity came around, we, I looked at my family and I thought that for us to, um, to be different or to uh, have a unique selling point, we should look at the sisters as our wealth was, la was laying in, into, in, that, um, in the name of our seven biological sisters. So um, we concentrate obviously more on, on women um, we know that a majority of women purchase the wines. We are making or producing a wine that, um, that all women can um, identify with. It's an easy drinking, early drinking wine style. And the reason why I'm saying that is that I would love for every woman, wherever they come from at five or six o'clock, whether it's the gym, or whether it's a job, to kick off their shoes and pour a, a glass of wine while they're cooking, while they're bathing the children. You know, we as women are always busy with lots of things. We don't always get time to celebrate life. And that in a way is we can celebrate life as you live. You know, where we grew up, there was never time to celebrate life. And we find ways in celebrating life. And we would love other women 
to, to follow that same philosophy and not to be put in a box and be labeled because women, a lot of women has been labeled over the centuries, but really, you know, be part of today's life. I am, I'm very proud to be a wine farmer as a woman and as a woman of color and to make my people proud that you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Um, and I would love women out there to think in the same directions of the power they possess in um, realizing their dreams. It can be with anything, not just wine, but that we will be a, an example for them to reach their own goals as well. So I am going to introduce to you the Seven Sisters um, Chenin Blanc. And this wine has won a Gold Award 2023. It, uh, it's an excellent value at the price point for this wine. Now, we know that Chenin Blanc has always been the working horse of the South African wine industry. Today, it's actually carved out its own personality and character and has an attitude that is not shying away from any wine anymore. I um, remember while speaking to my um, American importer, the first thing he asked, Can we, do you have a Chenin Blanc? And it really excites me to know that the, the world is looking at um, the Chenin Blanc. So this Chenin Blanc, and as I explained to you, our wines has been made or produced in an early drinking, easy drinking wine style that will start with an entry level drinker, the millennials, uh, even a sommelier or a um, serious wine drinker will enjoy this wine because you can drink it on its own. You can drink it with um, a cheese and wine. You, we pair our Chenin Blanc with our um, creamy mussels and um, white wine sauce. And I will pour it for you. I always like to do the, the five S's of tasting wine. It's really to see your wine and how does it look. And I think the very first impression would be, is this a young wine? Is, is it transparent? What is lying on the rim of the glass? It's lightly green. Um, it's a nice champagne color. And then to um, sniff your wine. What sort of aromas does it expose? In here, I pick up nice apricots. And then sip my wine. And then swallow. And it's such a beautiful wine to associate yourself with, not only because of the sisters, but of the quality of the product that we have in this bottle. It will, you will also now decide, is this a wine I would like to continue drinking? Our wines are not wooded. However, uh, from the Chardonnay uh, up to the red wines, we've added some staves just to give character but we try to keep the wine as easy drinking as far as we can, full of fruits, forwarding um, notes, and, but the Chenin Blanc is not wooded at all. We enjoy wines that especially go with seafoods. Coming from the West Coast, we bring the ocean to the winelands. So we have wine, food and wine pairings where we do traditional fish cakes, um, all sorts of seafood we incorporate with our wines. And um, I like snook and not really hake. Snook is a traditionally um, fish that we used to eat at the, in the West Coast. As strong women, we like strong things, strong fish. It stands out, it brings forward um, the, the, the taste that you would like to, to get from it. Um, where other type of um, fishes are a bit mild. My, my um, six sisters, we have a baby brother, mom and dad. 
We grew up in um, Paternoster and I was about 16 years old when, old when my father lost his job and um, we were evicted literally within one day. We needed to leave the village and it meant that we needed to move out of the village to the next um, uh, town, which was um, Friedenburg. Uh, we did not anticipate being separated at the time. We were offloaded to with a relative, family member. And I think the penny dropped for me then. I think I was, I'm still very compassionate about my family and um, our um, closeness with each other, our, our camaraderie that we grew up with. So yeah, I find myself in somebody's dining or lounge um, having to make my bed. And I think the penny dropped for me then that this will never happen to my family ever again. And it sets me out to a journey of seeking my purpose and where I want to take my family to. Um, and when I was given this opportunity um, in the wine industry by the Minister of Agriculture, uh, rural, rural Development and Land Reform, I didn't know anything about wine. So I uh, investigated, I did a bit of research and I found it was a three billion US dollar strong industry. And without thinking of America at the time, um, I thought we can do with this kind of income if we just make a portion of it. So, so then my journey started with finding a wine suitable for my brand. Because at the time we did not own a farm, land or a wine cellar. Remember, we're from the previously disadvantaged communities. Um, before 1994, we were not allowed to enter the wine industry of business per se. And um, yes, I, uh, I uh, thought, let me call my sisters together and ask them if they have any savings and then we can start maybe um, this wine business. They laughed, they literally laughed at me. They thought, they told me, you are silly women. This is a white male dominated industry. What do you want to do there? And I um, said to them, just watch me. So don't dare me, watch me. And um, the wines was inspired by the character and the personality of each sister. We started to do uh, um, uh, Myers-Briggs um, personality tests. And, and then we group, we did groupings where the one would discuss the others. And so the wines, uh, each wine got a, uh, a name, a sister's name. So my name was the Sauvignon Blanc. Now, please remember, at the time we didn't drink wine. It was sour to our taste buds. And um, I, I did not, um, I wasn't happy with the fact that my sister said I'm the Sauvignon Blanc. I thought I was the red one, it was quite strong at the time. And they said, no, nope, you, the Sauvignon Blanc. Why? Because I have a lot of my mother's characteristics. Um, I try whatever I do and whatever I touch to do it in excellence. And I expect that the same of my family. And um, so from there, we carved our way into the wine industry. We obviously had to um, source the wine from different wineries, um, get the grapes, have the wines made, um, set up your own recipe for what you want in the bottle. And um, yes, so later on, my Sauvignon Blanc actually made it to um, the American Airlines first in business class. And it was the first wine to be served um, in the 364 years of the wine industry. So I was very um, uh, happy about that. Um, but then also, um, people were buying a, a Vivian and a June, a Dawn, a Lutuina, a Yolanda, an Odelia, and not buying a Sauvignon Blanc, a Chardonnay. And so we had to change that because in certain industries or retail stores that is huge, um, it did not work. So we got on board with Whole Foods in America, not anticipating go to the export market at the time, but um, we realized it's more difficult to get the wines into the local markets. And so it just organically happened 
that we um, found an importer in America and then we landed our wines in 42 states um, and put my backpack on, on, on my back. My first travels to America was horrific. I, uh, I, was, I was almost crying when I ended up at the Atlanta um, airport where I had to take a train for the next terminal. And I'd like to share this because I never thought of this small town girl having to fly that high. And um, so we, I, would, I would walk the streets and I cannot remember anybody rejected our wines on the shelf in America. And we both, we really have a good following. Um, so still today we get a lot of um, Americans coming to South Africa on tour and they find our um, winery. I think when I started in the, in the American market, um, it was that we, are, we were living their dream, something that they wanted to um, also be part of. And I must be honest with you, Seven Sisters was the inspiration of more than a hundred black owned brands in America started with the same model. Um, because we had a huge following in America, we are celebrities in South Africa. Nobody knows about us, a very few people knows about us. Um, yes, but on a farm, um, we are not open to the public, but we are open to group bookings. Um, and we do food and wine pairings, lunches and um, dinners with wine. Yeah, I think um, we've put in a lot this year. Um, you know that COVID has put a lot of pressure on us. So we, uh, we tried the, the past two years to just get out of the, that, that um, um, bad wave and um, moving towards the end of the year into the new year. I think by the, from the middle of January, we will um, have a lot of already bookings from overseas guests that's coming to do food and wine pairings. So if people would like to book, um, we are easy to find, sevensisters.co.za um, and make a booking online um, for a group. We do group bookings from 15 and upwards and come and experience and enjoy um, our unique um, dishes, uh, authentic dishes that um, we make with our very excellent wines. Yeah, this wine is, was inspired by one of my sisters with a very spunky personality, um, Odelia. It's a Moscato Palais, and um, we did not want to put this in a sparkling bottle, but want to surprise the wine um, drinker when you open this wine, that it actually has um, a sparkle to it, so we call it the live Moscato. Um, sparkling characters, there you can see, with grape nuances on it. So I will do the same thing, look at it. It's clean, um, with a bit of bubbles on top of it. A nice pairing with crackers and cheese, but also with dessert. Um, ice cream and fruit. Really very nice festive wines, yes. I would think uh, is to get yourself to wine um, exhibitions for the public, because in that way you can taste different wines. And then once you get to a, a grocery store or a wine shop later in life, you would know, you know, this is the wine that I'm really looking for. So I think that is the best way to discover a wine or get yourself to the winelands in Stellenbosch, South Africa. I mean, we're moving into the festive season and, and book your trip for a five day because you're not going to spend less time in this beautiful winelands and, and go and do wine tastings. I mean, we are one of them, um, you know, contact us and, and, and come and, and experience our wines. I, I don't really um, care about a wine awards. But what I do realize is that um, it helps people to make the decision on which wine they can choose from the shelf because there are thousands of wines 
but and it will help the consumer to um, to to purchase the wine because they don't really know the wine and they would like to buy maybe a, a inexpensive wine but make sure it's a quality wine and then it, and then they could be guided by a wine award uh, or a, or a sticker on the label. Well, if I must bring it back to my relationship with my husband, over the past 22 years, he really allowed me to develop myself, to live my purpose. And this is what I even look more forward to because when you're free to discover who you are with your partner, it just gives you so much joy to want to um, embrace your relationship even more. And now that I have achieved so much in the wine industry over the past 22 years, I can freely say that I am still in love with my husband because of what he's done for me. Cheers to Seven Sisters Wines. Thank you.